If you're watching this, you're probably a cyclist, and there's a good chance you're a dad too. And I'll go one step further and say, you've probably been disappointed with what's generally available for your kids to ride. I mean, sure, there's no shortage of options from the big box brands, but none of those bikes are designed from the ground up for kids. They're really just smaller versions of their adult bikes. And that's fine, I guess, but personally, I struggled to get my eight-year-old daughter on a bike for years. Everything I brought home was either too big or too small. Her hands weren't strong enough to operate the shifters, nor were they big enough to reach the brake levers. And the bikes I got from the name brands were tanks, which made them even harder to ride and even do something as simple as just picking it up when she laid it down in the grass by the playground. So I'm happy to introduce you to Frog Bikes, the first and last bike you'll ever buy for your kids. Frog was founded in the UK by Jerry and Shelley Lawson in 2013. After having an almost identical experience as me, they were so inspired, or maybe frustrated, that they left their corporate careers behind to create bikes just for kids. And that's where Frog Bikes was born. I pulled this quote from their website, and it speaks volumes. Our bikes are not scaled down adult bikes, as children are not miniature adults. At Frog, we put the child into the center and design our bikes around the child's unique anatomy in order to suit his or her unique needs. That means everything from geometry to componentry has been engineered to make a child's journey as comfortable and enjoyable as possible. Now remember that because we'll come back to it. More specifically, this means features such as adjustable short throw brake levers, shorter cranks, scaled down handlebars, and an optional handlebar stem add-on provide room for growth. Two other small things that make a huge difference are first, shifters that are 60% easier to shift than stock adult shifters, and suspension that's tuned to 60 pound riders, not 160 pound grown-ups. These incremental changes add up to give your littles an added degree of comfort, fit, and most importantly, confidence. Another thing we'll come back to in a minute. Frog sent me two bikes, the Road 58 and the Mountain 62. Let's take a closer look and see how they're spec'd. The Frog 58 road bike has 20 inch wheels and two sets of Kenda tires, one for road, one for gravel. And the lightweight 6061 T6 aluminum frame has ample clearance for both sets of tires. Smooth but not grabby stopping power is courtesy of Tektro cantilever brakes. It has a micro shift 1x9 drivetrain with short throw shifting, a 32 tooth chain ring, and an 1132 cassette. And there are auxiliary levers at the top if your little one, like mine, isn't ready to hammer in the drops just yet. But when they are, you get handlebars specifically designed with a kid-friendly short reach and shallow drop. The 114 millimeter cranks are a patented exclusive, and you get real grown-up quick releases at the seat clamp and on both wheels. Rounding out the equation is another nice custom touch, the Frog Bikes Junior Specific Slimline Saddle. The Frog 62 mountain bike has 24 inch wheels and a 1x9 Shimano Acera drivetrain. It's part of their Push the Limit series, which means it's specced with a really nice air suspension fork that has both compression tuning and lockout, and the fork is tuned specifically for smaller riders. The 62 also has some of the smoothest hydraulic brakes I've felt on a mountain bike. Seriously, I took this little thing for a spin and these Tektros are on par with their peers from Avid and Shimano. But no matter how hard my little guy pulled them, they never locked up or sent him sliding. They seem to have a nice touch and good modulation. And like all their other bikes, you get the kid-friendly Frog Bikes Junior Specific Slimline Saddle. Now, if you know me, you know that there may not be a bigger bike snob anywhere on earth. So, as you can imagine, I approached both of these bikes with a very critical eye. And what I found was nothing short of what are basically two fully customized bikes. When you back away and kind of take a look at the big picture, these things aren't unlike a bespoke Pegaretti or Moots. They're dripping with exclusive components, they're engineered completely around the rider, they're tuned for performance, and they're built to last. Now, earlier I said I'd come back to two things, enjoyment and confidence. When these bikes arrived, neither one of my kids was actually very stoked because the frogs are just a touch too big for each of them, and they were still kind of hooked on their little 16-inch Craigslist neighborhood beater bikes. Wasn't too worried about my son. He took to the 62 pretty quick and was blasting up and down the street in no time. But my daughter was another story. Getting her to even ride around the block was like pulling teeth, and she's got a nice little Trek mountain bike. I can't remember exactly how it happened, and I promise I'm not making this up, but 
Once we got her set up and got her going on the 58, she was unstoppable. When I asked her what was different, she said, Dad, it's so much easier to ride and it's so fast. And now without any cajoling from me or her mom, she wants to ride it every day. And that's Frog's mission. In a nutshell, they make bikes, but what they really want to make is cyclists. And in my opinion, that's just not going to happen on a heavy clunker that's hard to ride. Frog's child-centered approach has earned them global accolade, industry awards for innovation design, around 1,800 retailers worldwide, and thriving partnerships. If you'd like more info about Frog Bikes, how to become a dealer, or where to find them, please contact nainfo at frogbikes.com. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.